This episode of Mid-Ohio Rock Show is brought to you by Larry's Music Center, Ohio's coolest indie music store, with locations in Worcester and Millersburg. What do you mean this is Rock Show? What the hell are you talking about? We're not under arrest? What's going on, man? I said I this was, was a test. Radio. What's going on, man?
Hey folks, welcome to the Mid-Ohio Rock Show. I'm Tommy Barnes with the Fox Radio Station and a whole bunch of others in the Mansfield area, but we are taking our summer tour to Orville for the Orville Ribbon Music Fest. We've got Josh Schneider, Josh Schneider Band, along with his pop Rick, and John the Drummer, and uh, hanging out in an alley for some crazy reason. But we're uh, actually over here doing some filming for our third season of Rock Show. Hey ladies! Hi! <laughs> Can't forget the girls, can we? Hey Josh, uh, tell me about the band. You guys are based right here around the Orville area and stuff? Yep, we uh, just start out in cornfields. Um, we've been playing for about, what, three? Three? Okay. Four, We're going to toss out a bunch of random numbers here and pick one. Uh, three or four. Ish. Okay, three so or four. So it's like your own Field of Dreams. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. That's the next album name, actually. Field of Dreams? <laughs> is it? Is it Kevin Costner playing? Yeah, I guess he's a player and stuff like that. Uh, well, uh, talk about these guys real quick, if you would, please. Part of your band. Yeah, um, I went to high school with John. Um, rode the bus together. Okay, rode the bus together. Orville? We've no, Smithville. Smithville. Short Smithville, yeah. No, Smithville. Short bus. Um, and uh, basically, he just wouldn't leave me alone and yeah. bugged the crap out of me, and eventually we uh, jammed together. All the way around, but yeah, just for the camera. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for the camera. Yeah, this is all about lies. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you feed him, it never goes away. That's you know? one of the issues. So he was stuck, so we kind of used him. Yeah, cool. And then, you know, my dad, you can't pick your family. You, know? <laughs> you can't, uh, you know. <laughs> No, it's I've really got cool. paperwork here. All you got to do is sign it. <laughs> he, he's out of the picture completely. <laughs> no, so that's been cool. We get to do stuff like that together. Well, you know, as I, uh, you know, I've been in radio in Mansfield for a ton of years now, and I, I try to be somewhat prepared with my notes. And I, I got to tell you, when I look at some of the influences with you, one of my all-time favorites, Joe Bonamassa. Yeah. I mean, great player. Satriani, another cool guy. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at some of your videos, and I, I need to look at my notes here. Where Barley Grows. Really oh, yeah. cool sounding song. Talk well, about cool. that one for a moment. Um, that's just that's an original that we had on the last album. Um, I'm a big cinematic guy, so a lot of uh, I guess a lot of the ideas that I get for songs are um, from a cinematic like epic. You know, that's kind of I don't know. It's like a movie. I get a movie premise in my head, then I write a song about it. So, so we could go like this is Independence Day. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go from there.
Okay, cool. Uh, new album, am I mistaken? Did it just come out here like in the last couple weeks or so? No, last summer. L last actually. summer, okay. Last All right, yeah. tell us about that. Um, that's our second attempt at making something other than noise. Uh, that's what happens <laughs> when you got a few bucks, they'll, they'll do anything for you, one of those little booths. Yeah, well actually my uncle, who's running sound tonight, uh, recorded it. Cool. Yeah. We recorded it in our basement to save a lot of money. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll keep it all in the penny. Just pay him like barbecue sandwiches. Beer. 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 Oh, okay. Beer yeah. There, it costs yeah. a lot of beer. It did cost a lot of beer. We it's always good. joke on this show that I get paid in moon pies, and Ronnie, yeah. who's not with us tonight, gets paid in Trident Layers. And you think he got the better deal? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Why? Trident Layers. Because, man, that's that moon pie stuff. That stuff in the middle is not right. <laughs> 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 Whatever that is. That's, Whatever it is. That's, that's just, sure it comes in a jar of ice. It leaves that film on your roof of your mouth. That's, that's what RC Cola is for, man. That's nasty. That's really nasty. Bacon. Rick, how long have you been playing, bud? Uh, I've been playing guitar for about uh, 30 years. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. bands maybe you played in around the area, folks yeah. might be familiar with? Dark Horse, Tremor, years ago, many yeah. years ago. Yeah. And these guys got together and started started jamming and couldn't find a bass player. So I said, I'll sit in. And here I am, three or four years later, I'm still in. They haven't kicked me out yet. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I, I can tell you, I, I tell this story a lot either on the radio or just when we do these interviews that uh, I'm fortunate I've got three sons and uh, my two oldest sons play. And when I was like 27, my wife bought me an, an Epiphone six string guitar and I always made it a point to, to keep it out in the living room as a constant reminder to pick it up, play it, not stash it away up in the attic. And 10, 12 years ago, Lo and behold, they both got bands, or both out playing. So I mean, from father to son, it, it's it's really cool to see that happen. It is. Uh, it? There's a good connection too. I think you know we we're not trying to step on each other's toes like a lot of you know people you see in bands do. You know, everything uh, nowadays, I mean, so much of what I do on the radio, you're always talking about dot .com this and dot .com that. You guys have got a pretty cool website. Tell us about that. Um, that's pretty bare bones, really. We just kind of threw it up there quick just so we had something yeah. up a We're graphic artists. Web presence, yeah. we, we actually work together, too. So. Yeah. yeah? They're graphic artists. Yeah. I don't know. What do you hang out with, Ted Nugent? Johnny draws flies. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> draws <laughs> flies. I wish I could, man. <laughs> I'm not much eating in the eating critter, but it's just be cool to go out and hunt with uh, them, I think, wouldn't it? You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> My dad used to take me to wild game dinners growing up and stuff, so I, you do a lot of hunting around here and stuff like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Big time? Yeah. Yeah, I actually, one of my big hobbies, I'm a per, not a professional, I guess I could be, I guess, but uh, I, I like bass fishing. Oh, yeah. I'm president of a bass fishing club, been fishing in tournaments forever and a day, okay. so if I had a passion... We'll have to meet up on that later. Yeah, so. absolutely. No kidding. Uh, but, yeah, I tell you, between seeing live music like the Josh Schneider band or, or bass fishing or maybe golf, that could be life for me. We won't use the other F word, even though we could. I'll tell you what, we appreciate your guys' time. I know uh, you got to get the band all set up and start playing here for the Orville uh, Ribbon Music Fest. And make sure you folks check these guys out. JoshSnyderBand.com, yep, right? There you go. Bare Bones, as they say. They're playing all around the Orville area and uh, maybe at a venue near you. I'm Tommy Barnes, Josh, Rick, John. Say goodbye. Thanks.
This episode of Mid-Ohio Rock Show is brought to you by Larry's Music Center, Ohio's coolest indie music store, with locations in Worcester and Millersburg. 